Hi everyone, welcome back to the Green TMD No Gauge. Well, where are we up to? Well, I am happy with the colours I have selected for the concrete block work on the water tower, and we're now going to progress and do the block work of the column and the office at the front here, which is a lot more visible, so we'll be more detailed rather than the standoff stand off paint job that uh, is currently on the water tank. What we're going to do now guys is take the building with the walling that we're going to paint over onto the workbench and then we'll go through the colours and applying the individual block work colours and shades to make them stand out and look more like bricks rather than a pale cream post. So to the workbench. So welcome to my floor and my feet, you can see my socks <laughs> unfortunately. Due to the length of the building we can't actually get it on the workbench to work comfortably. So this will work nicely here. This is the photo I'm working from, the end building of Hither Green. So I've got the dark shading down the pillar here, down here. And I think a reasonable representation of the colours of the block work. Now not everything translates beautifully from photos to real things so there's obviously shading differences but we're just working with what we've got. We now as you can see here I've got my block work tower and we're going to try and replicate this colours we've got on there. So I've got a brown here that's quite close. It looks actually closer in the room here than it does on the photo which is the colour that I've used. It's a caramelly brown 62. Um, I did say 162 on the last video but it's actually just 62. And this is the colour I'm going to use for the basis of the block work. I'm going to thin it down and then also add some 118 before shading with some powders. That's the plan. So we'll start with the 62, I'm going to stir it up and thin it um, with some thinners in this jar here, it's a dirty jar, it doesn't really matter. Similar to an airbrushing consistency, sort of 50-50 mix with some thinners. I've got my thinned paint, a bit like I say, 50-50-ish mix, it's quite thin, little old square paintbrush. And I'm just going to go down and say, right, well, this block here is dark. These next two. This one. So that is that. So what I'm now going to add to this mix is some of the base colour just to lighten it up just a little bit more so that we can do some of these lighter ones as well.
All you can do is just lift off a little bit of the paint and reduce the toning as you go. A little bit darker, so I'm going to take a bit off that because it might be a little bit too dark. And just add to there. The final bit I'm going to do is use my 118. Okay, we're going to darken it down, thin it down, and add a mid tone to what we've been doing. So I'm just going to literally, this is going to be dry brushed. take much and barely see it but uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the screen at all it's just shading in the last little areas Now that the base colours have dried, I've got some just cheap burnt umber acrylic paint. I'm just going to put a touch of it. I'm just going to put a touch of it on a tissue. And again, with a little square brush, which we've been using so far, I'm going to get a tiny Gonna get a tiny bit on there and dry off the brush, and we're gonna dry brush a few bits of corners. Just highlights the edges of bits and because it is acrylic, a little bit of water. We can just blend it a little bit more. Wipe it off if it's too much. Too much there, so we just get the cloth now and wipe it off. Do it in the weathering direction, don't scrub sideways, it just smooths out.
it just blends in all this bit down the bottom is below floor level but I'll just tone it down anyway it's just a wash just so it's not just clean and even And do for the brown, I'll just get a little bit of black. And so the black I'm just going to do up from the bottom. splash of water if it's getting too heavy Next thing we're going to do to tone it down, because it's also quite bold and in your face, is some white weathering powders. And we'll just scrub it in. And this will tone it down. bit of water in it and then just tap it off a bit and make it less harsh white powders is just a tiniest little bit of amount is needed
So if you now go there, look, you can see a direct comparison to the finish. It looks much older. And finally, we're just going to give it a little bit of black. And again, if it's too much, I'm going to use, thank you, knock in the camera, some cotton bud this time to lift some of that off in the corner. stage now that we've got all the powders the paints and the varnish on which is now nice and dry is to do the pointing for this I'm using some interior polyfiller for small cracks I'm going to scoop a, a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to rub it into the surface into the cracks looping into the And then once it is on, get tissue. And at an angle, not straight, wipe it off. And that leaves the joints all nicely mortared up. And it stands out nicely. Under here, down here, and the reason for doing the varnishing first is so all the powders and paints are sealed in. So when you rub this over the top and also when you wipe it off afterwards you don't take all the paintwork and the dirt with it so again rub it off I'm not so much room for me to go at an angle on this bit so it'll have to be squarer
Put it back on the layer and we'll get a nice photograph and uh, see the finished result. There we have it guys, the main brickwork of the shed building is completed. So we've got the main shed water tank tower part of the building, which is just standoff rough painted bricks just to make it a representation of actual brickwork because you won't actually ever get close to it. And down here, just adjust the camera slightly, you get much more detailed brickwork as a comparison. And as you can see, it comes out quite nicely and reflects a completely different look to the more modern brickwork of the other brick built cabin. I hope you've enjoyed this little part of the project and the detail that we've got so far I'm happy with. It'll be nice to get all the floors in the shed done so that I can blend this concrete pad that is outside the office. But the two buildings are now starting to blend together quite nicely. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I might very much appreciate it. If there's any questions, Stick them in the comment section below. Enjoy modeling. See you soon. Bye.